hello guys we have a situation on our hands right now it's so technical that i felt i should shoot a video on it okay we'll be using this sumac fireman spg 8800e2 for this particular tutorial okay someone once told me that he had a generator this big this size and then he used the generator the previous night the next day he kicked on the generator the speed of the generator just went down the voltage of the generator went down and of course that is the same issue this generator is having i'll kick start the generator right away to show you guys what exactly that person is complaining about and how it matches the fault we're having with the generator now let's go <laughs> Alright, if you notice what just happened, when I did put on the generator, the speed of the generator was so low. As a matter of fact, I have to engage the governor to increase the torque, the speed of the generator. But you see, looking at everything, especially looking at this spring, if you watch some of our videos before now, you would have seen where I advise if you have to adjust the speed of your generator, the torque of your generator, just carefully engage this particular um, screw is quite connected to the governor okay but at this particular point now the spring is at its fullness there is nothing we can do to it again to increase the torque of the generator and here we have to diagnose what exactly is wrong with the generator now to increase speed we usually touch the spring right what is connected or attached to the spring there is another spring inside of the generator which we call the governor spring if you notice very well now, this governor spring is slacked, it wobbles, it shakes. On the norm, it's not supposed to shake, it's supposed to be firm. But not too firm, but at least far better than this. So we have all belief that the fault, in fact, I believe the fault is from there anyway. It's something I've seen over time in my many years of fixing generators. So what we do now, we're going to lose the generator, confirm the state of the spring and possibly change the spring. Let's take off the tank of the generator so we have space to uh, really observe the spring. Okay guys, when you look closely, you will see the spring is slack. Of course, you will not be able to tell this spring is bad, except you've done this job before, you've done the job severally. That's why you'll be able to tell this spring is bad. So how do I know this spring is bad now? Well, I'll bring a brand new spring so you can identify it yourself. Alright guys, this is the new spring okay this is the new spring we have i will put this new spring side by side with the old one so you see the huge difference okay if you notice carefully this one is overstretched the old one is overstretched as a matter of fact i can still tweak this spring to work all i need to do is just slightly fold this with my plier but in cases like this for engine if i have the parts available i really do not tweak i just go outrightly and replace and that's what i'll be doing with this now so i will just replace this spring with this and then we'll put the generator on to see how it works so this is quite easy all you need to do is to use um a plier a plier would take this out with ease One thing about generators or engines I usually advise people is take off this answer of what you are taking out. Okay, you notice I took this out from this first, or from rather from this second pull, from this second hook. I have to fix it back to that particular second hook. Okay, 
and then I connect this back okay if you notice very well now this is very firm very firm unlike uh, what we had initially so I will just kick this gen now even without the tank and see the sound it's going to produce all right if you notice very well this sound is totally different from the initial sound we had when we used um, this spring okay let me fix up the tank then kick start again by the way if you are just seeing our content for the very first time you're most welcome i hope you've enjoyed what you've seen already and you do us a favor by kindly subscribing to this channel and then turning on the notification bell so when other videos are posted you are among the first to see them all right Okay guys, I will kickstart the generator so you see how it is now. Okay guys, if you notice very well, the sound of the generator improved, the generator uh, uh, speed increased, the voltage became very much stable, and everything that had to do with a good generator uh, came back in place. So that is it from us from this particular YouTube video. If you love this video, I implore you to subscribe, like, and of course, share to friends and family. Till we meet in our next class, it's goodbye. Take care.